right guys and gals and all my non-binary friends so today i'm talking about what everybody's been talking about all week prince harry and um megan merkel interview with what's oprah <laughs> i'm high my my me okay so there's so much here right like there's so much here but at the same time it's the same shit you know imperialism uh colonialism racism <laughs> I just feel like we have this issue of like, and I kind of hit on this in my Wednesday Wisdom video where I go uh, uh, do the history of the Republican Party, how we like want to pretend like we live in this world where, oh, racism has been dealt with and we don't really have to deal with that because it's been dealt with. And so we're all, we could all have like happy interracial babies and interracial couples and we're all going to be accepted into these institutions that were built on the back of enslaving black and people of color. And then you... Not only do you do that, you then insist that we need black and people of color in these spaces that have all has literally um, needed your races, your your demise, your people's demise for it to succeed. And then you talk about a polarity between you and Kate. Yeah 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 like that's literally what this is built on using the kate middletons of the world as the example of what is right aryan and meant the best for everyone you know what i'm saying and even 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 when you look like a Meghan Merkel and you walk in the world like a Meghan Merkel so you are privileged enough to not have to actually think about race and what that might mean where you and not even have to google I'm not here I have all the empathy I really do and we're gonna get to that I have all the empathy sympathy all of that for her but we let's talk about it because there is a reason why someone like Meghan Merkel will go into this thinking like oh this might be okay versus let's Michelle Obama, who knew, yeah, this was going to be bad. This is going to be bad. People, when you walk in the world like a Meghan Merkel, and it's like, yo, there's all these, couples. I don't, let me, let's, let's just get this out here. I don't have a problem with interracial dating. You know what I'm saying? I had my own history of like having to deal with anti-blackness in myself and like being like, oh yeah, I just need me a white man. I don't have a problem with interracial dating. Okay. So it's just like, but there's, there's this, there's this thing of like people interracially dating and then not not being aware that that's going to be a problem especially when you are living in this institution that built itself off of the uh, the inferiority of this other race like it's just like even when you look at the monarch like look at the queen she married to her cousin clearly y'all got to think about making sure y'all are oh, the blood is uh in 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 the family like that's that's y'all thing so why are you surprised that they wouldn't want a half nigger in like why are you surprised and the thing is people are acting like harry was like oh yeah racist but it was like racial it was racial of course and then you add race into it and it's and it's, it's like okay yes of course he said i mean i appreciate everything these people are willing to share people don't have to share more than they are they are able to or they want to you know what i'm saying but the fact that megan came out and was saying blatantly like no nah, kate made me cry and even though megan throughout this interview is so humble and gracious and you can tell she really just doesn't want to hurt anyone else to talk about her 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 and like share her story you know what i mean and that's important like we all need to you know talk about what we've been through and what has happened to us so we can save other people from it happening to them but it's just like yeah yeah the monarch that I, that's marrying their family for business yeah, they're probably going to have a problem with that half black girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the fact that, again, this idea of like, the reason why Meghan Merkel trusted that they were actually going to protect her is because she has lived her life looking how she looks. And I'm, I'm not here to say that she's white passing. I'm not here to say any of it. I don't know. Don't care. I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I've, in my personal life was like maybe you know but it's like i'm not here to 
past no whatever you know what I'm, this is a biracial woman who proudly um loves and you know really is close with her mother her half her white father is trash and that's just like you love to see white people just be trash and that's like that is the story of Meghan Merkel like she's just like I'm just nice and sweet and these white people are just terrible and we're like yeah babe yeah and that's the thing like this idea of <laughs> it's so many things that's why it's like it's it's so it's good like content like that's what everyone's talking about um I've watched I told by Kenya's video about this I've watched the King of the Reeds video about this and um, for Harriet's video about this. And it's like, it's so much there because it's so, it's such good content. Cause it's like, yeah, we want to live in this colorblind world where people can have interracial babies and have interracial love. And it's just so good for all our representation and not even just interracial. It's like this idea of putting black people in these institutions that do nothing but cause harm to black and brown people to sustain their power in the world. And then be surprised when those black and brown people are treated like shit are left out you know what i'm saying and i i keep thinking about michelle obama because i remember her saying like even on the campaign you know they just weren't the, the 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 way the campaign worked it wasn't there to protect her it was there to protect her husband and so she was left out to kind of like deal with her own shit and if she she had to fix it herself and it's like yeah that's not surprising it's just it's so fascinating how these people people just like oh like y'all don't like oh oh y'all don't think y'all don't think we just want to live in this world without doing the work to actually live in this world you know what i'm saying like no 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 it, it's all bad it's sad it's sad you hate to see it you really do especially since the fact is and i talk about this a lot the beauty standard is a Kate Middleton. I remember when um Kate like y'all remember what they girl they was Kate was Kate was it Kate was ooh Kate was it Kate was the new it girl they were really shoving Kate down everybody throat and you know what we was all like I mean yeah okay cool Kate Kate's gonna be the queen one day cool you know what I'm saying and then that's the thing as soon as child first of all as soon as there is a what is the word a threat to that standard because that standard the standard of a white woman the standard of white beauty of of all these things uphold a system of oppression you know when it even desirability gives so much to people people seeing you as desirable will completely change how they treat you and people think that's okay people really think it's okay to treat people like shit just because they're ugly and they'll say it to you and it's really like what are you doing but you understand but listen to this so the for kate kate needs to be the standard so that people can know white people are desirable so that's who you treat good well who's the undesirable who's gonna be the undesirable it's not it's not it is in the monarchy, it would be Megan, but that's the thing. That's what black people and people of color have to understand. If Megan can't make it there, none of us gonna make it there. So we all need to burn it down, y'all. Like, oh my god, and it's so funny because I keep thinking about Michelle Obama because it's like I bet the queen was like, niggas give me heebie jeebies. I remember when she she touched her, like, oh my god. And I, I remember when it happened, I was like, it looked like the queen was touching her too, but nah, the queen was like probably like trying to push her or something. <laughs> Uh, it's so funny i'm sorry harry i know harry's like my family but it's like your family races and that's what i'm saying like this even this thing it's like misogyny too because kate name gets brought up we all know kate may make and cry but we all gotta secretly look at each other and be like okay we all know william the one that said was asking about skin color right we all know that, right? Because William out here is about the family is not racist. Yeah, you and your family's racist, and you probably was asking Harry. So how how dark do you think? Do you think? I mean, I know Megan's kind of you know, but you know, you never know what then is pops up, right? How, how dark how dark do you think it's gonna get? And it's like it is funny, and everyone's commenting on the fact that it's funny that Oprah was like, <gasps> but it's like okay, yeah, Oprah, yeah, and to me. Like I said, it's so much there, right? Because, like, it's not shocking that this white man would be curious. These white people would be curious of how dark the pe the, the nigger that they're going to be related to was really going to be or whatever. But it's like, black people do that to themselves and they, and they don't think that it comes from white supremacy. 
Black people tell each other, oh, make sure you go, you find somebody who's not going to get you nappy-headed kids. And don't think it has anything to do with white supremacy. Black people be like, oh, ooh, hopefully, you know, I think she's going to be a little lighter. Like, oh, I think she's, you know, y'all probably going to have some light babies. Yeah. Y'all probably going to have some caramel, um, sun kiss light babies. Yeah. Like new, you know, like the, the popular new. Yeah, y'all probably... Black people do that. And then don't think it has anything to do with white supremacy. This is what white supremacy does. That that one drop rule is white supremacy. One drop of nigger. It don't matter how well put together it is. It doesn't matter how um pale it is. It's enough to null and void and, void and put your whole... Not only... They, they are willing to put megan's life in danger they were willing to put megan and harry's baby's life in danger and they were willing to put harry's life in danger because they don't want they don't like niggers like simply put simply put y'all want to and the thing is i'm not I, i'll give i understand harry it's it's great that he's he was like yeah it was because racism but even then he's like the tabloids like he's taught he wants to really try to Save his family is like, there's no saving them. They're racist. They depend on the inferiority of other people to keep them going, to keep them living rent, rent free. That's how this is. That's how this is. And that's the thing. That's another thing. People put, um, people of color, because um, Meghan Merkel was not calling herself black, which, girl, do whatever you want to do. I don't, at this point, I really don't care. People put people of black people and people of color in these racist institutions and then say, oh, that's automatically radical because people because white people and white supremacy says that black people just blackness itself is radical. And then the black people that are actually put in these positions are like, no, I'm not I'm not actually I'm actually I'm not radical at all. I'm actually just I'm actually just trying to be a part of this. Yeah, I just want to be a part of this. And that's what Megan is insisting. Like, no, I totally wanted to be a part of that. No, no, no. I, I, I totally I was down. For it. I mean, I, I thought I had the privilege. I thought I had the key. I thought I was good here. I thought I was good here. Like, I, I don't look that different from y'all. I don't understand. But the thing is, the thing is, white supremacy doesn't care if you actually look black. White supremacy doesn't care if you... And the thing is, it does. Like, Meghan Merkel has a huge privilege. I mean, the, the reason why Meghan Merkel is where she is right now is because of her privilege. Like, look, look at that woman. Like, what what you know what i'm saying in the black community i would say that or whatever but it's just it's fascinating like everyone was out here and even oprah in the interview was like everyone thought you guys were rebels everyone thought you guys and they were like no we were totally down with the system the system just didn't want to support y'all and that's like yeah that's how that works all you people who think that racism isn't real all you people who like to think that um this is just a colorblind world and everyone is on equal footed and black people's. And I'm not saying that's Meghan Merkel and Harry, but I'm just letting everybody know. None of this, it don't matter how well put together. It don't matter how good you can hide your nigger. It does not matter. You will never be good enough. So why not be a radical? Why not actually be a radical? Why not actually be a radical? Guess what? Guess what? They gonna put you and your black wife and your black child because it don't matter. That child is black regardless of how they look. And of course, if Harry, Meghan Merkel, and that baby were, n no one knew who these people were, those people would be a white family. At present, walking in the world, they would be seen as a white family. But that's how white supremacy works. You have to be the right kind of white. Y'all have to understand that. Certain groups of people that we see as white now literally have to fight to be seen as white. You have to be the right kind of white. All this shit is white supremacy. And, and to even figure out how to be the right kind of white, you got to know for a fact that you ain't, you you damn sure better not be no damn nigger. You better damn sure not be a damn nigger. I don't care if it's half, a quarter, a dime, or whatever the fuck. I don't care about none of that shit. You better not have any of it in you. Here, here go your cousin, because I know she not a nigger. Marry him. That's how these people do. And we're surprised. This woman is literally, and that's the thing, like, they keep trying, oh, the queen is so sweet. She's just a grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, the queen know what's going on. And you're not going to convince me she not. She don't. Because she's the fucking queen, baby. And that's the thing. That's what these people do. 
to make yourself continue to look good, you have to make other people do your dirty work, right? So the queen doesn't tell you that she thinks that you and your nigger wife needs to go on. No, she FaceTime you even more now that you guys are further away. That's that's how you get your eye love eye going, baby. That's how you get your eye love eye like, no, babe, I'm the best. These other motherfuckers racist. And it's really like they're listening to you. It's from the head down, baby. I don't care how old and shriveled up you are. Them old white people be racist as the fuck. And that lady has lived for years and years stepping on niggers and people of color to what are y'all what are we doing here the sun never set on the british empire do we not remember that they teach us that in history they were like oh we went to the, the commonwealth are like 70 percent people of color like we just thought we'll just live in one of those places so you're saying y'all still rolling over people of color y'all are actively saying that and then also actively saying that y'all are still willing to do it that's the thing these pe people who actually privilege 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 is real y'all privilege is real these people was like yeah we wanted to be a part of this system and we were like okay we'll we'll take our our black family away from you guys and we'll even just roll in one of the commonwealths so i'll just move there just like you know it's fine and they're like no 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 niggers allowed <laughs> these people cry imagine hating black people that much and i know a lot of y'all probably don't have to imagine because all of us we're all homophobic biphobic misogynistic um we hate black people we all have that shit that we have and unless you actively work it we all hate poor people oh we hate poor people that's why we feel so bad for harry and megan we like no no oh i'm so glad tyler perry another rich motherfucker was able to help you rich motherfuckers i'm just so happy i'm just so happy because rich pretty people deserve the best especially the ones that look like caucasians it was like everybody deserves the best everybody deserves the best if you breathing more than likely that's not your fault so you deserve the best nobody asked to be here and they certainly didn't ask to be living in the system that that fucking family built let's talk about it the reason why them white people came over here and started killing them um natives was because of the people over there because they were so horrible Canada too, they still ruling over there. So apparently that was like a colony. I don't fucking know. I don't know British history like that. I know that the sun wasn't setting on it. And apparently they still ruling over South Africa. What is going on here? And y'all saying, oh yeah, we were totally down. Yeah, we do tours at our countries all the time. <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all are insane. Y'all are insane. And I, I, I don't want anybody to be hurting. I don't want nobody to hurt. I think we all should be living like the queen. Living uh, rent free. I'm trying to figure out what we can best do to serve each other. That's how we all should be living. But we're not all allowed to live like that because white people decided they get to rule over everybody and everybody got to work for them. Ain't that bad a bitch? There's so much there. It's so much there. Meghan Merkel was ready to end her life because of these people. Meghan Merkel was ready to end her life because of these people. That's how dangerous and insidious racism institutions like this and it's literally called the institution like the firm the institution it's like white people always white people in it white people always white people in it but of course this is the whitest of white people this is what white people fairy tales was built after these people white supremacy all up in that shit it's crazy manifest destiny that's white people just white people. it's all white people just declaring i'm the better than everybody else now i get to, i have every right to kill you guys so i can expand my empire 
Sir, calm down. This is a Wendy's, okay? Calm down. Listen. This is a lot. This is a lot. Because it's like, this woman wanted to kill herself. Mind you, she was pregnant. She was pregnant. Y'all put the, a pregnant woman do this? Because y'all don't care about black people. Because y'all are y'all y'all are literally using her to make each other look better. And it's sick. Because y'all aren't even allowing her to go out. It's literally just abuse. Like, plain and simple abuse. You took away this woman's IDs, her keys. She couldn't go nowhere. She had to ask for permission. It's a grown woman. It's a grown woman. Her friends in town. She got to ask permission to go out. And it's like, yeah, you guys, this is normal because the safety, like safety, you know, safety. And it's like, okay, but y'all don't care about these people's safety. We see that you didn't care about her safety because she was a harm to herself. If y'all didn't want to help her, you didn't care about her safety because as soon as her and her family had to leave because y'all were pushing them out, y'all just said, oh, Harry, you want to go live with them niggers? Yeah, you can die too. And you took away his security too. She came home with someone who this was this like there was no guessing about it child child she wouldn't have made it to the wedding be dead let's talk about it let's talk about it and then y'all act like y'all don't understand what black people say black women say oh we go through shit and people are killing us this is what happens this is what happens in the workplace and in, in your relationship and it's like I said, people, <laughs> Harry family being like, I wonder how dark the skin is. I know, I know it was William. He didn't say it was William, but we all know it was William. I got that from Kenya though, so. <laughs> but, yeah. We, black, we, black people say that to each other too. Calling each other all kind of, like just all kind of terrible stuff because our skin is black. Because our some people's skin are deeper than others. Like, it's literally, the more you are seen as black, the worse you are off. But it doesn't matter because regardless of what kind of black you are, how deep or toned, da, 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 when it really comes to holding up this, I mean, really holding up the system of white supremacy, it don't matter as long as you got that one drop of black in you. It don't even matter. And that's why... I don't believe in respectability politics and I don't respect the people who practice that shit. Don't come out here talking about, oh, da 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 da. We, black people need to respect themselves. Black people need to be putting on a performance. Black people need to try harder than anybody else. Because regardless, black people, that, that, right, that itself is racism. Black people need to be able to live their lives and try as, as like everybody else. And that's as if we put, we don't have to be putting on this performance for everyone. We need to be able to try to find happiness for ourselves. And for you to ask more of black people, is white supremacy working? Because it's, it's telling you, oh yeah, black people really are the problem. Y'all are the ones that don't know how to assimilate and act right. But it don't matter if y'all assimilate. Look at Megan. A Megan was already to assimilate. Ready was, Megan was ready to be whatever the crown needed of her. Megan not only was ready for that, but Megan was, girl, they was reaching. Look at Megan. Megan ain't finna be popping out. No, I mean, it's not impossible, but more than likely, look at they baby. Look at Archie. Archie is a little, Archie looked just like his daddy. Archie looked just like his daddy. Like, y'all were, they, it doesn't matter what kind of black you are. It's never gonna be good enough because it's all built on anti-blackness. Like, uh, and that's the thing. It's really not, it's really not that hard to explain. Even when you look like Megan. Even when you're, you, you've done everything to build your own, you know, shit or whatever. Megan lived her own life, got her own charities going on. Was just really living her life as respectable as possible. And it still wasn't good enough because, hey, she's black. She's black. She's black. Simply put. And like, yeah, everyday black people, it, it really matters about your phenotypes. But... Baby, when you're dealing with systems of oppression that depend on your types of people not looking good, not being acceptable, accepted, they wouldn't even give the baby a title. This child is the grandchild of the queen, the great grandchild of the queen. Father, the, this child's grandfather is going to be the king. This child's uncle is going to be the king. This child's father is a prince. 
But they was like, no, we ain't giving your baby a title. We can't give niggers titles. We reserve that for pure bloods only. I don't know what you want. It was bad enough we had to give Diana something. It was bad enough we had to give these other people who are aristocrats, but they're not our kind of, they're not our cousins. <coughs> it's bad enough that respectability won't let us to keep dating our cousins. No, now we're trying to give it to niggers. It's too much. Can't do it. And not only that, hopefully you will die. So we will have to get rid of this blemish, blemish completely. And then William want to come out here telling us that they not racist. Why y'all didn't give these people security even though y'all know it's a chance that they might be, you know, stopped, attacked, killed, all this kind of stuff. Y'all are willing to abandon y'all family like that? And yes, this is a corporation. This is a corporation. This is a family business. They are dating their family to make sure that the, it, the business stays in their family. This is all about a business, baby. They got familial ties, yeah, that's nice, but this is a business. And Megan is not good for the brand because the brand is white supremacy. Oh, didn't you know? The brand is white supremacy. The brand is white supremacy. And it's very interesting because I was listening to this podcast um, called Hidden Brains. And it's, uh, they had a specific episode called uh, Is It Better Not to Know? And they really was going through, because Megan talks about how, oh, I didn't Google this. I didn't, I wasn't, I just wasn't, I just wanted to go in, you know, not having any pre preconceived notions. And that's beautiful if you were talking about a racist in empire that built the, its empire on the backs of black and brown and poor people. Like, yeah, that sounds really cute. Really cute. Um, or whatever. And in the podcast, they're talking about how, you know, this black, this black woman, when she was younger, she ends up being a um, player for the WNBA. But when she was younger, she didn't know that when she went to all these uh, uh, rural areas in her state or whatever to play basketball and she was the only black girl there because I guess she was in private school or something like that and it was mostly white people in her school and, and on the other basketball teams, she didn't understand that the reason why they were looking at her like that, like crazy, was because she was black and not because they, she thought when she was a kid that it was because they were scared of her and that kind of helped her, you know, it made her feel good, but it's like, and that's why it's like, is it better not to know? Is it better going in, not knowing about races? And I would have to say that it's better to know. And Megan even says that it's better not to, uh, she's glad that she went in or it was, she had to go in the way she did because that's the way everything just turned out. And that's like, that's true, but at the end of the day, I'm glad I know it. People are racist. I'm glad I know it. I'm glad I know it. I'm glad I know it. Because then I'd be like, yeah, these people racist. And I wouldn't have to deal with them ruining my pregnancy and having me out here really considering just ending my life. Ending my life and my baby's life. Like, essentially, I'm not saying that Megan specifically, she, of course, she didn't. I'm not trying to put that on her. But, like, if she passed away, I don't know how these things work. But I'm pretty sure the baby would probably have passed with her. And it's like... Because she thought it would be better for them. And that's literally probably what the people wanted. That's not what they said. But that's probably what the institution, the institution wanted. They wanted this black woman to kill herself so they wouldn't have to have niggers in their family. It's sick. It's sick. And then for them to have the audacity to come out here and be like, yeah, we're not racist. Just so you guys are clear. Even though the palace said they're going to do an investigation. I'm here to tell you we're not racist. Yeah, it's really up for you to decide, William. It's really up for you to decide whether or not y'all are racist. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. White supremacy ruins everything. White supremacy rules in everything. And they will throw you away if you are no longer willing to uphold it. Just like they threw away Harry. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm sorry. Your daddy wasn't even taking your calls. They threw you away because you had a black family that don't even look black. No offense to Megan and Archie. Y'all cute. Y'all real cute. Like, that's how white supremacy works. Because even an inkling of blackness is a threat to whiteness. And that's what y'all don't seem to get. So that's why the deeper tone people are out here more likely to be arrested, more likely to be treated bad, because more likely to be seen as less desirable, because, literally because of this family and this kind of ideology of white people need to mix with their family and can't be mixing with other races and all this shit. And it leads to trauma, just like it did where this woman is out here about to thinking about killing herself and begging for help and they're not even willing to help because they don't want her to survive. They don't want her to survive. They don't, they ain't looking for her kind to survive. Because to them, for her kind to survive, it's a threat to them. 
it's a threat to them and it's really disgusting and it's truly simple just like that shit go go on the fucking app listen to the interview if you come away with anything other than ideas then i don't know what to tell you read a book i don't know I, I don't even know British history to be that in detail, but I know the motherfuckers had slaves over there. Yeah, they stopped having slaves before we did, but the motherfuckers had slaves over there. The motherfuckers uh, went through all. They didn't even have to have take the. They didn't have to take the slaves home with them. They had all kind of colonies all around the fucking world, enslaving brown and black people, making them work for them, making them t pay pa pay taxes to them when they ain't got shit to do with shit. But y'all not racist. Y'all have done nothing to uh, do uh, to uh, to fix that history, to reconcile with that history. But y'all ain't got y'all ain't racist. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Y'all don't like that woman simply off the strength of the fact that her mama was black. Simply off the strength of the fact that her mama was black. And again, yeah. Regardless of Megan, if Megan Merkel was a fully white woman, she still would have had. Some kind, of, some kind of vitriol to deal with. But it, like we said, miso because what women are hated regardless. But misogynoir is specific hate that black women get. It's the compounding of oppression and trauma can compound. It's all there. It's all there. It's all some bullshit. It's all some bullshit. It's really sad. It's really sad. And I guess that's where I'm going to end this here. Megan, you got you a cute little prince, cute little prince baby, gonna have you a little princess, that's nice, I'm happy for you, and I hope that you and Harry can heal, but I hope that y'all continue to, I hope y'all don't think that y'all are done learning what racism is, because I feel like for y'all to come on these inter come to these interviews and like yeah we're still willing like yeah if we wouldn't like we would still support them it's like yeah that's your family but really think about what you're supporting because what you're supporting is what led to you and your wife and your baby having to leave because your wife was thinking about killing herself while she was pregnant with your child because of these people because of what it means to support and uphold the things that you and your family are have been supporting and uphold for 1200 years so yeah, that really sucks, and I wish y'all guys the best. I really do. It's it, I I don't want harm to any, to come to anyone. That's really my thing. I really don't want harm to come with anyone to um, anyone. Um, with that being said, you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your hands. Wash your face. Wear a mask. Wash your ass, and don't be a racist, imperialistic, colonistic. I don't know if that's a word. Um, a colonizing asshole.